be things I will look into when that time comes. But this winter, that's some of the repair. Some of the repair is going to be engine stuff with timing chain. Uh, we're going to get into, I'll probably do an alternator because the alternator in this one is located in a really bad spot. And I don't want to have to re go back in there and take a bunch of stuff apart to change out an alternator when I'm right there. To me, that just, it's foolish. Um, most, all right, I'm going to go after the shops here. Fudge you guys. Um, I'm going to go after shops who will only go in and do repairs based on what they see. They won't actually look at the bigger issues that are surrounding the vehicle. And I do have an example of this. Uh, I work on one of my neighbor's vehicles and this vehicle went in for a transmission. The transmission was going out. Their warranty covered the transmission, but the shop failed to call the customer and tell them that their rear main seal was leaking. Rather than calling the customer, they slapped the rebuilt or remanned transmission into the truck, gave it back to the customer. I got back or it came back to me for an oil change and I told my customer, I'm like, here's the deal. You took this in for a warranty. They did the warranty, but they never told you that your rear main seal was leaking. A five minute phone call and for you to decide whether or not it was worth you putting a rear main seal in could have saved you thousands of dollars. It would have saved you from having to pull the transmission back out of the vehicle just to be able to replace that main seal and put it back up in there. These are the things that I call out to shops on when they start doing shady practices like this. They only focus on the warranty work, what they're going to get paid for, and they don't think farther down the road. This rear main seal was clearly leaking before it went in and they did not do anything about it. A simple phone call to the customer, the customer could have said, okay, or no. That's all it would have had to be, but they chose to go the cheaper route and well, it's only under warranty, that's all we're gonna do. A chance to maybe make some more sales, a chance to be able to do the repair properly and not have any issues, but they didn't do it. This is starting to become common practice in the automotive industry along with us getting shoddy parts. There are shops out there. Heads up guys, if you ever run into this, make sure you call out the shop, make sure you let people know what happened to you. If they try to sell you the expensive parts, but later on you find out that they put the cheap parts in, this has been a scam that has happened many, 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 many times. I've walked into many shops and I've caught them doing it where they try to sell me the ceramic expensive brake pads only to find out that they were going to put in the cheap pads. Pads come in three different grades usually. For the most part, you'll always be able to get two options for brake pads, but many times it's three. The first option is a super cheap pad that wears away quickly and doesn't wear properly. It's super cheap, designed with crappy materials fail really quickly. Next, you have the semi-metallics. Semi-metallics means that it has some metallic particles in the pad to help with breaking, but they use a very cheap padded material to cover that semi-metallic. Lastly, you have the ceramic pads. Ceramic pads are 100% ceramic and don't have any of the semi-metallics in it. This is the higher quality pad and you always pay more money for it. So going forward, if you guys see stuff like this and shops doing shady work like that, call them out on it. And I would honestly not go back to them and tell people not to go to them because that is a scam that a lot of the industry has done for a long time. I really hate to call out the shops like that because guys, we're, we're all trying to make money. We're all trying to work hard but you don't do it by being shady. I, I don't care who you are, don't be shady. Do it right, do it the best you can. And I already know some of the shops are gonna be like, well, why, did, why are you telling people how to do a pad slap? Okay, here's the deal. I tell people that they can get away with it one time, one time, and that's only if their rotors are not warped. So you need to check to make sure your rotors are not warped. If they aren't, you can get away with one pad slap. Now, there is a break-in period when you do a pad slap. I do need to cover that. 